Hi guys, welcome back to another video on building amazing web application MVPs and I'm going to be creating a Spotify clone in this particular video and I'm going to be using an amazing tool called Firebase Studio by Google and it is a full stack AI workspace means that we can write prompt using its AI features and we can build different application and it supports a lot of different programming languages if I scroll down and these are all the different programming languages and it is amazing amazing i have used other ai tools as well as you guys already know in my channel i have created videos on cursor on bolt tempo labs lovable Raplet, and this is the one i really like it i would like to put firebase studio at the top of the list and i would put tempo labs and firebase studio at the top of this list because both of these tools supports all these different dozens of technologies and if i scroll down uh, we can see that multiple people can collaborate with each other on its online code editor whatever the app we want it to build it will create code of it as well and we can write code directly in its web code editor and its code editor is using all the VS code features as well including the debugging features extension people features or uh, the different settings features of the VS code so to get started I'm gonna click on get started button and it's going to take me to the studio of the Firebase. So on the right side, you will see all the apps which I have built using Firebase Studio. On the left side, uh, we have this prompt text box and where we can write the prompt for anything that we want to build using the Firebase Studio. And obviously you need to log in with your Google account. And here we can upload different files it can be the images and images can be of the design that you want AI to follow and build the app according to that design. And uh, we can actually select uh, these different sample templates. Like we wanted to build the ERP dashboard, receipt generator, tipping calculator, expense tracker. And at the bottom, you will see that it supports all these different technologies for front end, back end databases and mobile apps. And this is why I'm really liking Firebase Studio. And this is the reason I like Tempo Labs and Bolt because those two AI agents also supports dozens of technologies for building different applications. We can import the Git repository where we want Firebase Studio to start building the projects over the code which we have already written in the Git and it, it might be pushed on the GitHub. And here we can select different templates. We can start off with the different web templates with the help of Angular, Next.js, world simple html react and at the bottom we have more web templates from the left side we can select backend templates mobile ai ml databases and these are some miscellaneous templates and this is quite powerful we have a pre-built templates available with dozens of technologies so let's go back to the dashboard without selecting any of the template or importing any git repository or clicking on the new workspace i want to write a prompt which i have already compiled so let me write this so let me explain you what I have already written. I want it to help me create a Spotify clone that uh, it is going to be a mobile responsive, means the UI should be flexible for both web and mobile uh, screen sizes. The code should be good looking and the technologies which I wanted to use are the Next.js 15 app directory structure type script and tailwind and it should consider itself uh, with 10 years plus experience. So giving a role to AI is very crucial. We have to tell AI that you, I want you to be a beginner developer, experienced developer or a solution architect so that it can write code according to the experience we have given to it. This is a very important part of the prompt engineering. So. And I've already told it that I don't have a design. So I want it to make a very good looking design. Okay. And I'm asking it to use the Firebase Studio features for storing the data for the database, for the images, audio, whatever it wants to store. And uh, I want it to make sure all the functionalities are fully working. And since uh, with the help of AI, we can build large application, but we have to divide the bigger problem into smaller problems. Since this is the tutorial, we are just exploring the Firebase Studio. So I have just asked it to keep the features of Spotify clone minimal. I don't want to add uh, something like uh, artist community settings, albums, filtering, 
uh, these are the things i want it to ignore for now but we can step by step proceed further if we want and we can ask it to add authentication now add settings now add community feature now i want it to just focus on the basic features like a sidebar listing of the music data categories uploading media favoriting a music and basic search and playing the particular media file that we want it to play okay i'm not uploading any design i'm just clicking on the prototype with ai so let's click on this button and let's see how it start thinking and it's going to compile my prompt it's going to refine my prompt and give me that this is what it has understood according to my prompt whether i want to give a go ahead for building this application or not and you can see that it is simply creating a blueprint according to the requirements which i have given to this so music listing these are the simple blueprint you can go through it i'm not going to spend much time on it so i'm going to click on uh, go ahead prototype this app uh, and it's going to take some time and start building our application so after three four minutes it is done with the ui of the application as well as the basic functionality which i provided to it on the right side you can see that here is our chat box and uh, we can write more prompts if we want to make further changes for in the ui or any of the functionality or we want to add some new features in the existing application which it is showing right now so let's explore what it has created home search page let's click on the search and if any of these pages are not working, we can obviously ask it and uh, it's going to implement these features. So uh, I'm clicking on the search and you can see that it is navigated to this search music. I can click on the collection. It is taking some time, but that is fine. And we can explore the different collections for the music. These are just like the uh, categories. There is no liked songs and we can click on the upload media and we can upload the media by clicking on it and on the bottom it has pretty much followed exact design of the spotify and i really liked it if i scroll down these are the popular collection if i select any of these let's click on this and on the bottom you can see that it has popped up this beautiful looking bottom bar with this title image this is i think the artist this is where we can favorite our song or any music and this is where it is playing and we can increase or decrease the volume it's pretty good and you can think that uh, when you will try to build the same kind of application it might take you days or weeks for building this basic application using next.js and all these different responsive features okay i can just uh, do it like this and you can see that it is mobile responsive as well which is pretty cool and on the right side obviously we can upload the images again and we can write prompt so let's uh, see what we have here we can reload the page uh, if you want it to refresh we can restart the app um, and here if i click on it you will see that i can highlight any of these elements or the attributes that we have here i can click on it and here i can write the prompt again that i want it to make changes make uh, this text colorful okay and i can hit enter and on the right side you will see that it has added this text and it has highlighted that particular text which i selected by clicking on here it's just like uh, the selection of element in the chrome browser and i haven't seen this particular feature in any other wipe coding platform online okay so let's see whether it changes all right so it has followed the colors of the app which it already being used and it has made this uh, color change for this particular text how cool is that and we can write the prompt over here if you, if you don't want to select any of these elements and still you want to add uh, some more features let's say the authentication using firebase studio uh, and uh, obviously a uh, firebase studio is built by google and its backend is also uh, firebase so it is also built by google so right now uh, we can uh, it supports the firebase as a backend service platform for creating databases for authentication for storage of the media files in firebase uh, buckets all right and uh, let's try to click on it and uh, i think it got favorite and uh, let's go to the light songs whether it yeah it is now showing that light song which is pretty cool and all the features that are included here are working pretty fine so we can click on this 
share a pre preview link it is we can make uh, this preview public and we can just uh, share this uh, barcode with someone who want to use it or we can just click on it and this is the public ui that it has created and we can share it with anybody who want to access this particular application on a separate tab okay and it is live quickly with in just few minutes and on the top we can actually switch to the code mod so let's click on that and this is what i was talking before that it supports the online code editor with all the features of the vs code at least 90 percent of features of the vs code the reason i'm talking about the vs code because it supports all the features like the source control search features uh debugging features and most importantly the settings the extensions the settings at the bottom these are the extensions and all the extensions that you will look over here in this bar are imported from the vs code it means that um, and obviously we will need to have an internet connection but nowadays everybody have internet connection always so uh, it won't be any problem so we can use all the extensions directly in the web app in the firebase studio in the code mod and right now uh, it is showing all these extensions and if i click any of these you will see that uh, python language export uh, let's click on it again and you can see that python extension for vs code it means that this particular online code editor of firebase studio is built on top of vs code and all the extensions some people have in the community have raised a concern that some extensions are missing but i don't i didn't find any extension which i use which are missing over here uh, let me know in the comment below if you start using firebase studio what do you think about these extensions and this is the get uh, all the features of the Git, and we can click on the settings these are all the settings of the vs code plus the ai features built on top of vs code on the right side we have this chat box and on the web app this is where we can see the ui and this is where we can write the more prompts if we want to make further changes how cool is that and on the left side i can click on that and this is where you can see that all the code that this firebase studio wrote according to my prompt is visible over here and it is uh, using the next js 15 and all the variants which i prompted it to and it did not throw any error i have tried other tools like lovable uh, Temple Labs uh, or Bold or Replit as well. So those tools, when they start building the apps, in between they might get stuck or they uh, they might have an error. But but they are obviously going to fix that error later on. And this is the Firebase Studio, the power that uh, it quickly built this app in few minutes without any error in between. I don't. I'm not saying that I don't like other tools. I really like. Uh, Temple Labs, I really like Bolt. I'm not talking about the uh, other code editors that we can install in our system like Cursor, Windsurf or the GitHub Copilot. I will talk about these local tools in another video. Uh, so now you can see that we, can, we have this and all this UI. We can create new file. We can start writing code ourselves online in this editor. It's not only for building MVPs. It's using AI of Firebase Studio, build MVP, build first version and start writing code yourself directly in an online version of the Firebase Studio. And uh, clicking on it, we can see all these features also provided by the VS Code. And uh, these are the things we can click uh, share a previewable link or we can click on it and uh, we can start testing the app in terms of performance it's just like a chrome browser and we can start testing the app using a lighthouse uh, in terms of performance accessibility best practice seo progressive web app and start clicking on the analyzing the app okay um, now uh, i can switch back to the prototyper view or i can click on the publish this app so this is the prototype view that you were looking at earlier so i'm going to click on the publish it's going to show this particular window and right now it is creating the project in the firebase so once it is creating the project i'm just waiting for it to create it and then i'm going to go back to the main firebase console and let's see the name of this project gets created in the backend 
of the firebase or not so meanwhile let me know guys what you think about it if you haven't seen my other tutorials on other ai tools like the tempo labs Raplet, bolt cursor you can check that out on my channel uh, i will be creating updated videos on those uh, tools as well in upcoming days so now you can see that this is the name that it has given to it riff sync so i'm gonna open up the firebase um, and let's see whether it shows something or not so i'm gonna open up firebase all right it is a google's platform so this is the main page is also introducing firebase studio so i'm gonna click on go to console because this is the url you need to navigate to console firebase and riff sync all right so it has created this app automatically uh, in the firebase this is the back end of the app which is built over here okay uh, so you can also use this firebase studio for only building the ui interface uh, you can prompt it that don't use any back end and you can just link it with the github and start building and configure uh, the project yourself as well um, which i believe it should be uh, possible because we can add the env variables over selves uh, it, it must have the ENV variable or we can just download this project in our system and start integrating any other database uh, or a backend as well. Okay, so let's go over here. This is the riff sync and uh, it should be having the data over here and we can explore different things uh, the project overview for this particular uh, project which it has built so i just wanted to talk about this amazing ai tool because i have tried it today i wanted to share it with you guys and whenever i think uh, i need to think of an idea and i want to show it to some people i can just open up firebase studio and start building and uh, MVP in just few minutes just so that I can show my idea uh, with the people with might it might be the investors it might be my friends uh, so it's an amazing tool nowadays building an MVP the first version of app is not a problem uh, but in terms of using AI for building the projects I want to recommend you guys to use AI for hundred percent of your features you need to know what AI is writing you need to understand what the code it has written because at some point the code will be too large the files and folder structure will be too large that AI will not be able to catch up at least at this time uh, so you need to understand how is it uh, connecting all the platforms back end front end creating databases uh, creating schema for the database you need to have an understanding of it AI should be used to speed up your workflow but not to help you uh, write everything and you don't even know what it has written okay so thank you so much for watching guys I will be creating a long video on prompt engineering uh, cursor AI editor for all of its features as well as the chat GBT or the cloud or windsurf let me know which video which ai tool you want me to cover in the next video thank you so much for watching guys do subscribe my channel and like this video see you in the next video